Herzlich willkommen bei der BMW Group. Mein Welcome to BMW Group, ladies and gentlemen. Some of you may wonder, why is the BMW X1 here? It's been around for quite a long time already. I would like to stress the BMW X1 has been a complete success since its launch in the autumn 2009. More than 123,000 customers have bought an X1. The X1 has made a contribution to the fact that last year, a 1.46 million vehicles of our three brands, BMW, Mini and Rolls-Royce, have been sold. We remain the premium car maker with the highest sales worldwide. In the first two months, 2011, we delivered more than 210,000 vehicles. This has been the strongest start to the year so far. The reason why the X1 is here is hidden inside, under the bonnet, so to speak. My colleague, Klaus Dreger, will present the new generation of the two-liter petrol engines with BMW twin power turbo technology. And this engine shows we foster efficient dynamics, advance it even further, and we offer innovative solutions to our customers. In this year as well, we will launch attractive new models, the new BMW 6 Series, the BMW 1 Series M Coupé, the BMW M5, and last but not least, the second generation of the BMW 1 Series. All these vehicles contain efficient dynamics. More about that from my colleague Klaus Dreger. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, with efficient dynamics, we have been reducing for many years emissions and fuel consumption. And we achieve that with a highly efficient new generation of engines through aerodynamics, innovative lightweight construction, and intelligent energy management, power management. And the motto is, more power, more driving enjoyment with less fuel consumption. Today we will present a highlight of efficient dynamics and it's a new engine. It will power the BMW X1 as of spring 2011. And you know, the development and engineering of engines is one of our core skills. It's not for nothing that we are called Bayerische Motorenwerke. Our present six-cylinder engine has the trailblazing technology pack BMW Twin Power Turbo. And with this engine, we won the Engine of the Year Award 2010. This technology has now been transferred to the new four-cylinder engine. Thanks to BMW Twin Power Turbo technology, the new engine is powerful and frugal at the same time. For the customer, that means the two-liter engine has a much enhanced driving performance. Maximum power is 245 bhp, torque of 350 newton meters, and uh, that as of only 1,250 revs. And compared to its predecessor, it will have 13% more torque accelerates in 6.5 rather than 6.8 seconds and fuel consumption is only 7.9 liters rather than like before 9.4 liters and 16 percent less co2 emissions a few days ago motoring journals uh, tested the new engine in the bmw x1 and gave it full marks as of spring, our customers will be able to appreciate the advantages of the BMW Twin Power Turbo technology. So I would like to thank our X1. Meine Damen und Herren, 
Ladies and gentlemen, with efficient dynamics, we advance the engineering and development of hybrid and electric drives. Our mini e-test fleet has already covers about 11 million kilometers. And our second electric test vehicle is the BMW Active E. It has an electric powertrain, which we have engineered ourselves, and the new lithium-ion technology makes possible a range of 160 kilometers for everyday driving. In summer 2011, the first vehicles will be delivered to the federal Ministry of the Environment and to, to customers. In September, customers in the US and at the beginning of 2012, the BMW Active E will be delivered to customers in the UK, the Netherlands, China, and also here in Switzerland. And the findings from those tests will have an impact on the development of our first full electric production car, the BMW i3. This is our path to electric mobility. But this is not the only issue that is important for us. Another big trend is connectivity. We call that BMW Connected Drive. Now you can experience our vision of connectivity and driving. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what BMW Connected Drive looks like. There has been a lot of speculation whether this could be the new BMW Z2. As you can imagine, I myself would like to drive this sports car, but this is a concept car built for a certain purpose. With this vehicle, we put a face to BMW Connected Drive. It is to build a bridge from today to tomorrow. It is to show what we can achieve with intelligent connectivity. Connected Drive for us is the second big field of innovation besides efficient dynamics. BMW is steeped in tradition as far as intelligent network systems are concerned. Uh, remember the BMW Turbo with its radar-based distance warning systems at the beginning of the 70s, and for 10 years we have offered internet-based services in the vehicles, but now we cast our glance much further into the future. In this LED you see four big trends changing our lives. And we give answers with BMW Connected Drive, and our customers have a clear benefit from that. Connectivity between car, passengers, driver, and the environment is a big issue of the mobile future. What Connected Drive means for practical purposes, Klaus Drager will now show you, and he will give you a few concrete examples. Ladies and gentlemen, in the meantime, the portfolio of BMW Connected Drive comprises more than 50 innovative functions. They enhance comfort and convenience while driving, they elevate infotainment to a new dimension, and they increase safety. Let me start with the comfort and convenience functions. Sometimes it happens that while I'm driving, I have to sort things out. Let's, let's say I need a new telephone number or an address, and in this case, it would be nice to have somebody to do that for me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what is possible with BMW Connected Drive. Immediately after getting in, my smartphone will automatically connect with the vehicle. In the future, the car will synchronize with your diary. It knows 
what appointments there are, where they happen. So it will take the address into the route guidance system and will pick a suitable route. And also the car gets a present traffic data and uses it for the calculation of the route and shows me where to park. It's like a personal assistant waiting in the car for me and who never calls it a day, of course. With infotainment, what we mean is tailor-made, bespoke information. What is important is to uh, transfer and transmit the right and most important information. And it should be easy for the driver to use this information and those offers in an intuitive way. At the same time, there will be additional infotainment offers which the front passenger can use or the passengers can use. The system, for instance, shows the passengers that they are passing a museum, what kind of exhibition is on, and they can buy a ticket via data transfer. The notion of BMW Connected Drive had its debut in 1999 at the Frankfurt Motor Show. Back then, we presented novelties like the information service or the automatic uh, emergency call. Those are examples for passive safety, but we also concentrate on active safety. So that means the avoidance of accidents. And a great example for that is BMW Night Vision. In the next step, we will intensify the communication from car to car, thus enhancing safety even further. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, I would like to go on and on about those uh, 50 uh, innovative solutions, but this would go too far. And by way of conclusion, I would like to ask Dr. Reithofer to come on stage again. Klaus, we all have seen, uh, Klaus, we all have seen network, network driving offers great opportunities which we may not even be able to imagine at the moment. BMW has been a trailblazer for a long time. Even now you can order every BMW with connected drive. And we go on like this, and this is what this concept car element represents design elements which can be seen here in this car. And we could imagine that they will be used in future BMW models. To bring innovations onto the road, this is what drives us. This is what is our task, and this is what customers appreciate about the brand BMW. Now, to a pleasure, driving pleasure, we add a pleasure of network driving. Now, I would like to ask you, come on stage and see for yourselves. Thank you very much.